Hey guys, what's going on? It's Russell again. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I do tons of different stock alert service reviews. I look at courses. And today I want to talk about Nomi Prince. So if you don't know who Nomi is, she's an American author and journalist. She used to work on Wall Street. She was the... Basically, she worked at Bear Stearns as a senior managing director for probably five to ten years. Oh wait, here it actually says seven years. And she's basically spent most of her career in Wall Street before she branched off and started her own services. So I wrote this article a while back. I thought I'd go through who she is, what she, what does she trade, if she has any services and things like that. So, um, yeah, she's well known. She's been on pretty much all the major TV networks. Uh, as a journalist, she worked as an investigative uh, journalist. So she's written all these different books and things exposing different levels of corruption and stuff. We'll talk about that in a minute. But she gained a lot of credibility early on as the managing director at Goldman Sachs and Bear Stearns, which is not something you normally find in a person that starts their own alert service, so that's kind of interesting. She also has advised the Federal Reserve and the World Bank on different uh, financial policy matters, which is also just crazy to think that you could follow somebody on a trade alert service that actually has that kind of credibility. So she really has got a strong background in quant finance, she has a degree in math and a graduate degree in statistics as well. So she's the real deal when it comes to actually being a Wall Street uh, finance analyst and trader, which is really cool. So what I find interesting is she has written some books that are really kind of like in-depth into the world of almost conspiracy theory, but they're only conspiracies if they're not true, right? <laughs> so the first book that I know she has is called Collusion, How Central Bankers Rigged the World. So I looked it up on her website, this is her website, I'll try and put a link in the description to these resources for you guys. So here are books, she has a whole bunch of them, Collusion is, is one, you can read a bit about it here, but basically exposing some of the Wall Street uh, bankers um, that do all these horrendous things in the markets and to people. And she has what, well, let's see, books, she has these uh, books, so three, six, seven, eight books, all on this kind of topic, so you can look through these, see if there's anything in there. This one looks interesting, all the president's bankers, hidden alliances that drive American power, this groundbreaking narrative on how an elite group of men transformed the American economy and government, dictated foreign and domestic policy and shaped world history. So if you're into this kind of thing, um, that's definitely a book to look up for, for sure. So I first came across Nomi in the London Real podcast. I don't know if you guys know this guy. He does uh, all these different um, interviews on famous people and sometimes it's uh, traders, which is pretty cool. I like all of them though. Go and check out the London Real YouTube channel for more of this type of stuff. She did a whole bunch of interviews and London Real was one of the best ones I've seen so you can go and check that out if you want to know more about Nomi as well. I don't know if it's Nomi or Nomi. No, I'll call her Nomi. <laughs> so she started a service called the 25 Cent Trader and it was a premium service uh, offered by Paradigm Press which is I think part of the Agora network, um, Agora being one of the billion dollar companies that are behind almost all of these different alert service reviews at some point, <laughs> it seems. Um, this is a service that offers people the opportunity to be alerted by Nomi to options that are extremely cheap, so 25 cent options, hence the name, the 25 cent trader. Now. The way she does this, obviously, is she buys out of the money options that are really, really, really cheap. And she uses typical indicators like RSI and volume and MACD, but she also relies heavily on what the big guys or institutions are doing pre-market uh, before she sends out an alert. And it's like once a week, I think, on a Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, early in the week, so she buys weekly options and she wants to make sure that, you know, there's still a few days to expiration at least. These are usually quite fast day trades though, and she usually buys before 10 a.m. In fact, there was a quote from her saying that you're a sucker if you buy options after 10 a.m., so she's kind of harsh when it comes to that type of thing, but she um, clearly knows what she's doing. Uh, her success rate was amazing. So, increase in volume, really important in her stuff. Her software signals that everything is working for a stock. She sends out a trade alert. Her strategy seems to be based on what former colleagues are doing, the sharks on Wall Street basically, 
Uh, so unusual options activity, institutions buying, pre-market and all this kind of stuff. So pretty typical strategy, but you'd hope that as an insider, or once she was an insider, that she would be able to give, you know, she'd be better at this than most people, right? <laughs> Uh, and it turns out she was. The problem is with her strategy of buying these really cheap options out of the money. She basically, like, it's almost impossible to replicate. And that's something that keeps coming up again and again for me on these different stock alerts, services and option alerts, is that trying to buy these contracts at the same time as her is difficult. So one thing is good is she does tend to buy on a set day, so on Monday or Tuesday before 10 a.m. Eastern, which is great because you can set that time aside to trade and then you're done and dusted for the week, with her at least. The That's the good side of it. The bad side is the fact that they move so quickly. Um, you are going to be chasing and a lot of complaints uh, seem to be based around that on her service at 25 cent trader which by the way I think is actually paused at the moment doesn't look like you can sign up for it at the moment but I'm not sure you're going to be missing too much by not being able to sign up for it because looking through all the reviews I mean 2.6 out of 5 is not the worst rating but it's not the best it's the comments in the, uh, the comment section here that basically would put me off and should probably put most people off is that although she has got credibility her trades are almost impossible to replicate even for people who know what they're doing I'm just trying and show you some of the comments you can go and check this out in stockgumshoe.com let's see so you basically are chasing the whole time and you might get lucky and win a few but then you might end up just, you know, getting burned. Um, the the thing with this service is, it's three thousand dollars a year. So, like this guy here says, if you're going to spend three thousand a year on a subscription, I wouldn't attempt trading a strategy with anything less than fifty to hundred k. The problem is, it is billed towards people with smaller accounts. Hence, the twenty five cent option thing. Though, so you're only supposed to be buying a small amount, so that you aren't risking very much money but the potential to the upside is really high so there's kind of a incongruity between the cost of the subscription and how it's pitched um, because you would struggle to make three thousand a year if you're only buying one 25 cent contract every week even if you you know actually made a lot of money doing it it'd still be hard so you want to be buying a lot more than just one so yeah that's some of the stuff that people are saying um, bu -bu -bu -bum. let's go back to the actual review so the 25 cent trader that she runs uh, currently isn't taking on new people I'm not sure what, quite what's going on she has other services like I found this one that I've not ever tried dark money millionaires so there is stuff still out there but it feels to me like she might be switching to focusing on her journalism more or taking a bit of a back seat so yeah, that was basically the 25 cent trader. You get alerts for your SMS and email. Um, she is an expert. She's really smart on macroeconomics and things as well, uh, which maybe play a little bit into this service, but not so much. The win rate is huge, but you can barely copy her, which is always the problem. So I do like these short term trades at the moment, especially since you know you're not going to be holding them overnight, really, usually very short term. So like I said, 3000 a year doesn't really make much sense. Um, I certainly wouldn't buy it. And honestly, if people are saying that you can't replicate her performance, even if the performance is really good, um, it's still not the best use of your time or money. So, well, I think Nomi Prince is extremely interesting and some of her books are probably, probably going to go back and read some of her books and things. Um, I don't think that if she does start accepting new people back into her services that I'd particularly want to be part of part of them. It's just not my style. Yeah, once a week early morning sounds good, but not if you're going to chase and just get burned each time, <laughs> you know. And I think we've all been part of services like that as well. I don't think it's, you know, that unusual. It's people chasing momentum and things. Never works out that well in the long run for subscribers, in my opinion. You're much better coming and joining uh, sidekick traders with, with me and, and Marion and Miz and copying some of her alerts just because 
basically she gives you plenty of time to get in, it's not momentum chasing, so that's what I like about Michelle in Sidekick Traders is that you can put in a bid and just sit there and wait for it to fill and then put in your sell order and just sit there and, and wait for it to get out. So even though it's day trading it's not like 25 cent contracts and you're not chasing momentum. So anyway I hope that was useful, um, go and check out who this Nomi Prince is, uh, she's definitely an interesting interesting personality and she's got some cool books out so all right guys till next time cheers